Russian President Vladimir Putin has appointed new Navy commanders. Admiral Alexander Moiseev is the new Navy Chief of Russia. Moiseev will replace Admiral Nikolai Yemenov. Putin also named the appointment of the new commander of the Navy's Black Sea Fleet. Notably, these appointments come after the loss of several Russian warships in the Black Sea. Earlier, Ukraine's Navy claimed that it has sunk or damaged one-third of all Russian warships in a series of Ukrainian drone and missile attacks in the Black Sea. Meanwhile, the Russian missile attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure, especially on the civilian buildings, continue. In Ukraine city of Dnipro, a Russian missile attack damaged an educational facility. According to local authorities, the attack injured 18 people. On the other hand, as Russia continues to attack Ukrainian cities and towns, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has signed a crucial bill that will lower the mobilization age for combat duty from 27 to 25. The move aims to strengthen Ukraine's efforts to generate more fighting power against Russia. The bill has been with Zelensky since May 2023 after it was approved by the lawmakers. However, it is still not clear what prompted Zelensky to sign it now. In total, Zelensky has signed three bills regarding military service in Ukraine. The second bill requires men who were given military waivers on disability grounds to undergo another medical assessment. And the third bill aims to create an online database of those eligible for military service. Ukrainian troops are facing several challenges on the battlefield. Shortage of ammunition supplies, a crucial aid from the U.S., which has been blocked by Republicans in Congress for months. And also, European Union failing to supply the promised ammunition on time. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with France's Minister of Defense in Paris. There, both the leaders discussed the ongoing collaboration with Europe in supporting Ukraine. But we are at a critical moment where it is absolutely essential to get Ukrainians what they continue to need to defend themselves, particularly when it comes to militias uh, and air defense systems. So there's a year-term challenge that we're working together to meet. It's another reason why the supplementary budget request that President Biden's made to Congress must be fulfilled as quickly as possible. Later, NATO foreign ministers will meet to discuss a long-term military support plan for Ukraine. This includes a proposal for a $107 billion five-year fund. The proposals by NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg will give the Western Alliance a more direct role in coordinating the supply of arms, ammunition and equipment to Ukraine. Meanwhile, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron call for NATO allies to strengthen defense spending and production in support of Ukraine. Reports claim that in the two-day summit in Brussels, Cameron will ask the allies to endorse British-led initiatives to procure NATO standard missiles and munitions for the Ukrainian armed forces.